What's good, Faithful? You know who it is. It's your boy, Jay in the Bay. I want to thank you guys, the Faithful, for watching, liking, and subscribing to my content. And if you're new to my channel, obviously, I rep the red and gold. I talk about everything 49ers. And you can look forward to that if you subscribe to my channel for the rest of the season and beyond. But first, I got to shout out to all my people who subscribe to my channel. I got 13 yeah! views already. The boy is blowing up. But anyway, let's get into the top five most impactful 49ers for the upcoming season. Let's go. Five. Raheem Moster, that boy was toting that rock. When he would run to the left, he running behind Joe Staley. When he was running to the right, he was running behind Michael McGlinchey. Obviously, Moster came out of nowhere faithful. We know it. Um, the beginning of the season, he wasn't even uh, playing running back, really. Uh, he didn't really, really go off until later in the season. But obviously, Moster was a catalyst in uh, bringing us to a long playoff run and a Super Bowl. So obviously, Moster is going to be very impactful for this season. We're going to need him to tote that rock. We're going to need him to run for even more yards than he did last year. And Shanahan will give him every opportunity to do so. Good luck, Moster. Foe. Faithful. In order to have a successful offense, you know it. We all know it. The old line got to be playing at an all pro level. We need the old line to create running holes for Mostert, for Coleman, and we also need the old line to create, you know, four to five seconds in the pocket for Jimmy G to look left, for Jimmy G to look left, and find the open receiver. If the offensive line not blocking, we can't run the ball and we can't pass the ball. So offensive line is going to be key for this season in order for us to have success and go on a long Super Bowl run. So I look forward to seeing the offensive line creating holes for the running game and protecting Jimmy G. Three. Faithful. In order for us to strike fear in the opponent, we're going to have to do that through the trenches. That's that D line with Bosa, Armstead, Ford, Ken Law. I'm looking at you, Ken Law. Um, expectations are high for you, Ken Law. You following Defo, and we all know what Defo did. But anyway, the defensive line is going to have to be the best unit of the defense. They're going to have to cause havoc up front. They're going to have to stop the running game. They're going to have to put fear in that quarterback. We can't let the quarterback be comfortable at any point, at any time in the game. The D-line gets pushed and disrupts the timing with the QB. Faithful, you know what that could do. It makes the linebackers' jobs easier. It makes the corners have to cover less time. And it also makes the safety's job easier. So D-line, I'm looking at you. Y'all got to have a great year. Y'all going to have to dominate like y'all did last year. And that'll definitely lead us to have more success uh, this upcoming season. So D-line, I got my eye on you. Two. Jimmy, pretty boy, Garoppolo. Clearly, you winning off the field. We all know that. We can see that. But I want you to win even more on the field. Obviously, you played uh, last year your first full season as a starter with the red and gold. You threw for about 17 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, over 3,900 passing yards, and led us to the Super Bowl. But I need you to play at even higher level. I need you to strike fear in the opponents. Obviously, the opponents fear our running game, but I want them to fear the passing game as well. So I'm expecting big things from you, Jimmy G, in this upcoming season. This is also a big year for you contractually as well because the 49ers can opt out of your big-time contract this season. So if you don't play well, your ass could be grass. If not, if you play well, then we'll be seeing you in red and gold for years to come. I'm looking forward to watching you on the field, Jimmy G. One. Drum roll, please. Faithful. Y'all knew I couldn't leave this man out. We all know he the heart and soul of the offense. And this offseason, he got that new money. That new money. We all know Faithful is George Kittle. He's the heart and soul of the offense. He's what helps that running game run at a prolific rate. He also gives Jimmy G another target from the receiving core. And when, G when Kittle's not on the field, 
the Niners offense just don't look the same. So that's why he's my number one most impactful player for the Niners this upcoming season. I can't wait to see Kittle catching passes from Jimmy G. And I appreciate you guys liking, watching, and subscribing my channel. And I look forward to hearing your comments. Remember, leave a note. Let me know how y'all feel. Leave them in the comments. Let me know who your most impactful 49er will be this season. Once again, this has been another Jay in the Bay production. And I'm out. Wakanda forever. Rest in peace. Chadwick Boseman. Gone too soon.